Yo, so we are back with this Battle Royale team that has 99 Willy Mays on it. I've been liking him so far, two for four. However, those two hits are two home runs. One of them a walk off in yesterday's video. If you guys are watching right now, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are not already to the channel. Twin Gaming YT on Twitter, Twin Gaming YT on Twitter, Twin Gaming TV, just like YouTube over on instagram we're currently 3-0 with this team gonna hop into a game right here try to be 4-0 just stay undefeated with this br team that's the goal today if by the end of the video we still have zero losses today was a w we are playing the indie tycoons pun of hands out of burn Ooh, that 99 steve pierce that's a nasty card aaron hicks brian anderson jerks and profar tommy fam cole calhoun gary carter robbie roy on the mound we got steven Matz on the mound Away team batting first. Oh, why does it got to be ship it? Oh, man. I thought we had it early on the fastball. 91. There it is. Oh, no. That had to be over 100 off the bat. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how hard it was. Yeah, 107. He smacked that. Oh, man. That's not going to stay in the ballpark, right? No, it is. Never mind. I, I keep forgetting you all is better against righties. 46 power versus lefties. Oh, no. I get a hanging slider. And I go and get on top of it a little bit too much. Not a good first inning. At least first half of the inning. We'll see, we'll see how uh, we'll see how the bottom half goes. If we can keep them to zero, then it's a decent first inning. But with the top of my lineup, I got to be scoring some runs in the first inning. With those hitters, 99 Willie Mays, I just got to be. But it's all good. We got Steven Matz on the mound. I think he's a 68 or 69 overall. Facing some good hitters, including that righty. 99 Steve Pierce. As we get a nice little lucky out, number one. Also, did you see Robinson Cano tested positive for PEDs? L am I crazy? And I, I might sound really stupid by saying this if I'm wrong, but hasn't he tested positive and hasn't he been suspended for PED use before? Am I crazy or no? Like, like I, I swear to God he's been suspended for PED use before. If, if not, then I just sound stupid. But either, either way, That's a ball. like, why, man? why regardless of if you've done it before it's stupid it's just so stupid and if you've done it before it's even more stupid obviously so i just don't get it but my biggest thing is if he's done it before what the heck man what are you doing robinson what are you doing and if i if i'm not mistaken too i i keep saying i'm not mistaken because i could be wrong uh, like with, with everything I'm saying, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw that he's losing out on his $24 million salary for the year since he's suspended for, I don't know if it's the entire year or how long it is, but he, he's, he's missing out on his 24,000 or did I say thousand? $24 million salary. That's a lot of money. $24 million is a lot of money. Okay. And I don't know how his contracts work. Uh, his contract works. I don't know the ins and the outs of it. What's guaranteed, what's not, what he has to do, if he has to make the MLB ball club, whatever. But like, he could literally go. I'm pretty sure. I don't. Again, I don't know his contract, but I'm pretty sure he could go and hit 100 and still make that 24 million dollars. It's not like he needs PEDs. Obviously, and, and I will say, you know, obviously money's not everything he wants to perform he wants to 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 do the best that he possibly can but come on man we, we know that peds are against the rules i just i i just i i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i i feel like there's no way for me to defend it i feel like it's just absolutely brain dead stupid what the heck are you thinking type of thing to do in my opinion one. now i mean maybe some of y'all th think it's okay and, and and you know that's cool um, I, I've definitely entertained the possibility of, uh, of allowing PEDs just cause, you know, the steroid era of baseball was a lot of people's favorite time in, in their life to have watched baseball and it was super exciting, but at the same time, you know, they are against the rules. Like, I, I feel like I would be open. Why am I still using this picture? I feel like I would be open to them possibly lifting the ban. Again, I don't know the the safety of them, the dangers of them, and anything like that, side effects, stuff like that. So maybe it's too dangerous too. But, uh, you know, I think it, it could be fun if they were not illegal in baseball. But with that being said, they are. And I just don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, so if you guys have any thoughts one way or the other, I would love to hear them in the comment section. You know, do you think it was stupid? Do you think it was not stupid? 
Do you think it was on accident? I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was suspended for PEDs earlier in his career and tried to use the excuse that he didn't know and it was an accident. And, you know, maybe that happened twice. No, that's a foul you ball. never know. But... <laughs> oh, man. It's just... Why is that pitch go? Yo. Hey, why is that pitch going there? I swear. Was, wasn't was I aiming it like here? Oh, well. Um, I'm sure Goose Gossage doesn't have great control. But, yeah. I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. If I think of more stuff to say, I'll probably say it in this video. But I think that's all that I have to say. And I'm definitely curious to hear y'all's thoughts in the comment section. You know? What do you think about it? What do you think of the suspension that he was given? Too much? Too little? Thoughts on PEDs in general? Just anything like that that we've talked about or that you want to talk about? Hey. Leave it in the comment section. I thought we were about to give up a two-run shot to Tommy Pham. But looks like the lights are in his eyes a little bit or something. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my pitching that inning. However, I will say if I don't score in the top of the third inning, I think we lose this game. And also, I've been saying Rowdy Tellez, and a few of y'all have let me know. Apparently, it's Rowdy Tellez. Uh, so, my bad for mispronouncing it. You guys know I suck at pronouncing names. Uh, there's a lot of names that I, that I pronounce incorrectly. So, Rowdy Tellez, and I'll try to remember that as time goes on and for the future. Oh, man. I think that one might be 100 off the bat, too. It could be. I'm not sure. He's out. We're on top of it a little bit. A little to the left of that one and everything. Not hit perfectly, but hit hard. 100 to even, so. Hitting it hard, that's what we need to do. Because if you hit it hard, that typically means you had good timing with good PCI placement. So that's what we want to try to keep doing. For some reason, ever since I switched to the PS5. <laughs> okay. As I go and hit a no doubter on one of them. But ever since I switched to the PS5, high and low pitches are giving me more trouble than usual. I'm sitting here thinking that it's going to just be a ball and then it drops into the zone or it doesn't go as low as I thought it was going to. And how many pitches did Goose throw? I actually don't know. I need to check this real quick just to see if we want to leave him in. So this is me. He pitched one inning. How many pitches did he throw? That's what I'm looking for, though. Stats, pitcher analysis. Goose, he threw 10. I'm going to go to the bullpen. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take him out. You know, I, I got other guys in the bullpen for a reason, and I'm going to see how Brandon Crawford does pinch hitting versus Edwin Diaz. I think I have a right to go to, though, if he uh, brings in the lefty here, but it doesn't look like he will. Look at that, man. Perfect. Not perfect, but hey, it's what we needed. We needed a pinch hit base hit. We got one. I'm going to bring in a pinch runner now for that 28 speed a second. And we're going to try to score some more runs because I almost sent the runner home for a sec. Any? What? What am I saying? Uh, If we only have one run, a solo home run can tie the game. And that's not what we want. So uh, pinch run, Justin. Sometimes I've actually I'd accidentally pinch hit when I'm trying to pinch run. So I had to make sure, but... Uh, oh baby Willie May is coming through Okay now I'm all of a sudden hitting the low fastballs As I was saying and to finish my thought If we only have a, a One run lead a solo shot ties the game And I've given up way too many solo shots to count This year Yo Juan stay fair Stay fair it stayed fair Go home Willie Oh Willie Scoring Yo Juan Driving him in Double. RBI. The moose is loose. Coming up to bat. AJ Minter on the mound. Lefty be lefty. Trying to come through. See what he can do. Trying to get our lead. I was going to say higher than two, but we already got a three-run lead. Oh, baby. I thought we had it. Oh, I... I, <laughs> I got to destroy pitches down the middle, man. What am I thinking? Just moving the PCI like that. That was right down the middle. And I don't do anything with it. We got Mike Pizza. 458 average. Keep it down the middle. If it's down the middle. Oh, a little early on that inside cutter. I think maybe if I got the PC out of the ball more, it might have stayed fair. I was just down in front of that one. See, like that one I really thought was going to be high. Now we're 0-2. I got to protect. <laughs> it's down the middle. It's down the middle. What am I doing? Please get out somehow. Please carry. Ship it. Oh, no, we didn't get that ship at luck today. Hey, three runs is a, is a nice little lead. We're going to bring in James Karen Chak to pitch. I have not used this card. He's a gold. I drafted him. We might as well use him. Four seam. 
I didn't see the other pitches. Let's check it right now. Let's also warm up somebody in the bullpen so I don't forget. Uh, let's see, let's see. Four seam, 12-6. Uh, another curve, two curves, and a two seam, 99 break, 85 velo, but the potential downside to this card, 50 control. So we'll see how my control is. We'll see how we can locate, and we'll see if we can get out of this inning with the win and still be undefeated a little scary with this team also i feel like curveballs are not competitive in mlb the show i could be wrong and you guys might have thoughts on that i know i ask a lot of questions throughout the videos and everything but i feel like curveballs are just not competitive pitches right i feel like you if you're gonna have a pitcher you would rather him have a changeup and a splitter than a 12-6 and a curve Right. right, I, I feel, and even a slider over a curveball too. I just feel like curveballs. Now they're working for me here. Maybe I should trust more in them. But I, I, I have felt like it and kind of found all year that curveballs are not competitive pitches. And it seems like even when I have good release, they go a lot higher, a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time than I want them to. Now that was below the zone, but still able to get good wood on it. Good pitch, almost a home run. But that that curve, I felt really good about it. And it worked out. Now we're one out away from, I'm pretty sure, being 4-0. I think we were 3-0 to start. One out away from being 4-0 with this team. 99 Steve Pierce coming up. The good news is, if he does hit a home run, we're still winning. So, you know, if we make a mistake, it's okay. Obviously, I don't want to. But, hey, it could happen. If it does, we're chilling. We're fine. I can't let it get to me. I feel like James Karen Shack is kind of nasty. You know, he kind of starts in a funky place like this. And then the way his arm goes feel like he's kind of nasty. I just threw it down the middle on accident, but it ended up working. Now, that's a pitch that would probably strike me out in two, but hey, we got the dub. We got it done. Jonathan Scott with the homer. Willie Mays a base hit. His first base hit. That is not a home run, so we're definitely happy to see that, and we are 4-0 and oh with this team. Like, comment, subscribe, social media, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.